Hey everybody, Jay Crossan here again with another video. This is going to be a recipe video and I am making a pureed cauliflower that in texture is similar to mashed potatoes. And it's going to be uh, like, not necessarily Mediterranean, but we're going to have some feta cheese, some garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper. It's going to taste awesome. So I hope you enjoy, once again, some cauliflower. Not so good like this. It'll be much better. Ooh, almost dropped. It'll be much better whenever we're done here. See you in a bit. All right, I got my pot of boiling water here, and I have one pound of cauliflower cut up. Add that right in. I'm gonna boil that till it's soft. I'm gonna take one half of a tablespoon, roughly, maybe a little bit more than that of minced garlic, put that in there, and I also, this is a good tip, salted the water. You always salt your water when you're boiling something because then the water infuses into whatever it is you're cooking and that salt will be in the cauliflower and you probably won't have to season it after you're done. So there's another little tippy tip. So in the meantime, I'm going to get my garnishes ready. I have um, some fresh rosemary I picked from my garden. If you don't have any, you can easily buy some from the store. This is about one sprig worth, whatever a sprig is, right? So I'm going to just chop that up. I recommend for all those who are looking to eat better and eat delicious, eat healthy, eat well, start growing herbs, man. Grow herbs that last and that'll uh, endure winter, and you'll get huge plants that are uh, that will constantly produce, and you'll never need to go buy expensive freaking herbs from the store ever again. And then I also have a green onion that I've been growing in my garden. This one's particularly massive. I'm not going to need the whole thing, but you know it's all about adding flavor without adding extra calories. These are negligible. I mean, yeah, there's some, but there is uh, nothing that the motion of cutting is probably negating the amount of calories that I am going to add by putting these in. All right, so our uh, cauliflower has been boiling for about five minutes now. Once it hits boiling, just set a timer and um, it'll get super soft. And then you want to drain the water. But keep as much of the garlic as you can in it. It doesn't matter. The flavor is infusing into the cauliflower as you're boiling it, so no biggie. We're going to strain this, and then I'm going to show you how to puree it and what we're going to put in it. All right, so we have our cooked cauliflower, some of that garlic that's in there, and then I'm going to also add because you got to make it mashable and you got to put a little bit of creaminess in there. So I'm going to take a little bit of fat-free sour cream, two tablespoons of that. Okay. Then I'm going to also add crumbled feta cheese. Feta cheese is delicious. And I'm going to add a half a cup of that. Okay. Then I'm going to uh, if you don't have this, is called a stick blender. If you don't have this, uh, it's okay. You can use like a hand mixer or even like a potato masher. But uh, I, this is the best way to get a pure, the best way to get a puree. So this is gonna be loud. Sorry. So there's that. I'm going to take this rosemary. I'm going to throw that in there. I'm going to take these green onions and throw those in there as well. Since we already salted it, it's probably going to be pretty delicious. I'm going to give it like a little bit more mixing time here, like two more seconds. Boom. Done. And. There you go. Does that look like mashed potatoes or what? For realsies, I mean, this is 
This is like uh, the fanciest looking mashed potatoes you've ever eaten, but it's cauliflower, bro, so it's healthier. You're not carb, you're not carb loading, bro. So, that's it. This is your pureed mashed potato like cauliflower. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the recipe is in the comments below. I also recommend doing this, and you can do this infinitely variable ways, but look at that. That's beautiful, man. That is, you could probably fool grandma with these and be like, yes, grandma, these are mashed potatoes. You are getting healthy. Tricked you. Hmm. Ah, so good. I can just eat this whole bowl. I won't, but I could. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Eat well. Eat good. Eat for your palate. Eat for your body. And we'll see you real soon. Thanks. Bye.